Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Rust. Well, why did I say welcome back? Well, because it's been a while since I made a video and I figured I've been playing a little bit of Rust on a server I've rented for about three months. We're going to see kind of how that goes. And yeah, so welcome. I'm going to put all the information about the server in the description so if you're interested in playing rust with me then yeah you're feel free to hop on the server and you're more than welcome to to build a base and raid and do everything like that that's why i'm going to show this base here because i have discovered something new that we're going to have to take care of so yeah so this is my base that i've had i kind of started if i go g here's the map there's no way that i know of to move the map around because i don't have any I don't have it turned on. I don't have any mods. This is all purely a vanilla experience. And so, yeah, so basically this is where I am. That's kind of, I'm near the harbor and this is my base. I've got a wood door here. Let's kind of go inside here. Um, I do have the decay rate set to 0 0.25. So what is that? That's a quarter of what it should be. So it's slower. So I think after 24 hours, typically the, the buildings and structures start to decay slowly and then eventually they crumble so that's kind of how the game takes care of itself so i've lowered that down to so if it's at 100 percent normally i lowered it down to 25 percent that's kind of how to look at it right so yeah so on me what do i have i have a bunch of stuff on me here it's, you know some like a Looks like probably a sweater. I found this kind of candle light on the top, so <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, it's really good light and it works. I got some armor on just in case. I was also building this bad boy here because I'm going to switch that out actually. And so that way we can, uh, it shows my face. But the picture didn't really, see to me, I thought this was a piece of metal and you look through the little spot right here, but I guess that's not the case. So yeah, so anyways, so let's get on to raiding here. I got, oh actually no, I can't get onto raiding. <laughs> I need to build a flamethrower. So the best kind of raid uh, weapon or device to use would be a flamethrower. Because a flamethrower allows you to burn, oh man, looks like I only have 103. So let's go and process this stuff actually first. So basically in Rust, you run around, you collect a bunch of resources, you collect a bunch of rocks, um, trees, you do all that kind of crap i'll be back before the night time you do all that kind of crap ahead of time so i got some medicine as well so i don't need to show on the map because i know where i'm going um, i think i can just so yeah i think i'll be good with the one set of medical stuff and looks like i got my mace equipped i have an axe in case we harvest but we can use this to to raid with as well and about 19 shots i do have my key unfortunately so yeah so let's go process that stuff i'm gonna need to uh, take some wood with me so let's take this wood with us i could probably chop a tree before going over there but that's all right so we have a problem on the server here already where i'm at i will go this way and you'll kind of see why oh if you saw it in the distance there i saw a square structure uh, shortly away from my my building and yeah looks like someone's been playing on my server which is absolutely absolutely amazing i've only had the server up for a few days uh, almost a week now i've been kind of hopping on and off when i have time but usually it's about an hour or two at a time and yeah so it looks like someone's using wood so yeah so it looks like we're going to definitely attempt to raid this place that's for sure so yeah I'm definitely going to do that today. <laughs> so, so now basically I'm going to head in that direction. I'm going to go towards the harbor as you saw on the map. It's basically, if you see those rocks in the distance there, those kind of weird looking rocks straight ahead there. Well, it's just to the left of that basically. So you can almost see the harbor from here. The way I spotted the harbor was actually not with the map. Oh, and I got some lag frame rate. So lag frame rate, what the heck did I say? Looks like I got some rubber banding that's a bad sign that means it's gonna make it harder to raid which is too bad i should have a good internet but i'm trying to record this i'm trying to give a good experience to all of you but yeah so i'm just gonna head this way and i will meet you once i reach the harbor 
Perfect, here we are at the harbor, as you can tell. You see all the cranes in the distance there. And yes, yeah, so let's get on to processing this oil. So basically, in these kind of rad areas, there's talk of of adding NPCs. So eventually, I imagine there'll be bots in here that we'll have to take out. Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like that. You know, you'll be able to find NPCs that are kind of strewn around through here, kind of trying to take over the place. I'm kind of curious how they're going to implement it, but yeah. So apparently, one of the developers of the game was testing how weapons were working and the, and the damage that the weapons were doing. So the, he scripted in some bots and then he thought, oh, I could use this for like NPC AI. And yeah, it looks like they're kind of heading in that direction, which is good. It's been about time. I bought this game, what, back in 2013? Let's see, 2017, right? So 14, 15, so yeah, 2013. I bought it, it was one of the first early access games that I purchased. So that's kind of cool to learn about that. Ah, oh, come on, I'm getting some bad rubber banding. It's so hard lately with my internet. I haven't really been live streaming at all because, I don't know, it just, for some reason, my internet is just crappy out here. And usually about the time when I would be on the internet, it's usually evening time. And yeah, so we're going to smash up some stuff here. I'm gonna kind of run around like a crazy person, make sure no one comes down to to take me out. I think there's a box. I think there's a box in here. At least I like to think there's a box. Uh, no, there isn't. Let's see, can I sit here to watch? Not really. I usually close these doors so that way when people come around in this area, they won't see any activity from the player. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. So let's see, where can we s uh, sit to watch? I kind of like to watch, watch in the distance there for anybody. And I usually like to have the sound on as well. So hopefully that's recording well. I usually turn, I have the, the settings if we go escape. Ooh, I don't know if you should see that. But that. So here in the settings, we can see that these are the volume settings I have. So yeah, I'm not too sure how that will work out. But we basically need to, to to melt that oil because what that oil will provide is was it low grade fuel? I think this black crude turns into low grade. Yeah, exactly. So this stuff turns into this stuff, and we need a lot of this stuff for the flamethrower. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how this all gets edited. Hopefully, you like the content. It's kind of gonna be solo content. There's not really anyone I know who plays this game and who enjoys the game like I do. Plus, not to mention, it's an online game, so I only have so much time. And the internet, the way it functions here at the house is some days it's good, some days it's bad. It's just the crappy cable company. And then the area around here usually has a lot of people on. So, so right now, a lot of the kids and whatnot are on their devices. And they're using the, the neighborhood internet. And um, unfortunately, what are, oh, what the heck? There's no crate here. Usually there's a crate that spawns right here. So, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if, I wonder if someone came and looted this place already. Woohoo. How long ago was that guy online? I, mean, I need a machine gun now. I need something better than the crossbow. The crossbow did well for the start, but you outgrow these weapons really quickly. But this is vanilla, so it's really easy to get back kind of where you were when you you lose. But the whole point of Rust is basically pure PvP and killing each other, raiding each other's bases, and kind of survival, right? That's, that's what Rust is. There is the option for shops in the game, in the vanilla, so people can play that route. But... I don't know. I usually like the kill on site stuff. Maybe, maybe after after a few interactions, a few kill on site. Maybe uh, there's there's voice chat in the game. So if I think if I press the V, yada yada yada, then yeah, you can do that. I'm not sure how that translates or how that kind of comes through on the other end, but hopefully, I don't sound like a robot. Man, that takes a long time to process that stuff. So yeah, I tell you what, I'm gonna kind of sit around here i'm going to relax a bit and yeah 
and let's I'll be back once that stuff is processed perfecto okay so how much do we make I made about a hundred and two thingies um, thingies 102 low grade and so that should be enough to get in hopefully there's there's probably gonna be an airlock most likely but if the place is made out of wood we can usually chop it down and the guy doesn't log in while we're here well then guy or gal I don't know uh, the one thing with the rust is you're given a character so if you notice this looks like a male but the reality is it's it's giving me a female body so all that stuff is random and uh, not to mention the color that you are is based on I think your location culturally I think I'm not 100% sure on that I'm not sure how they've, they've randomized that stuff I'm heading back now because the Sun is actually starting to set and yeah and we have a problem on oh, we're rubber banding like crazy it's only because I'm recording which is kind of interesting kind of sucks because I would love to have better quality video but I'm still on my laptop and so to get away from that I would require people to send me money <laughs> because the money that I do have I, I need to pay bills and whatnot and so very hard to save up for some advanced hardware to run these games even this old game you know I would love to run it with kind of better settings it looks like they changed the way they, they do the sunsets they added some better coloring I really like the fact I can play this game and I it normally plays really well and fine, but unfortunately, when I record, it's because the CPU is dedicating a little bit to the recording, obviously, and so yeah. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run into the base here, and I'm showing everybody where I'm living, but that's fine. I have a feeling I'm gonna get raided anyways at some point, so I might build an airlock on the front of this, but I doubt it. Doubt it. I might just build another base with the materials that I have in, the, in this base before I get raided. So now it's just a matter of time, right? So I need to find another place to hide. That sucks. That sucks. So here we are, home sweet home. We're ah, we're back. I, I also don't like the fact that I'm carrying a key around. So it's better to build a keypad. Let's turn this bad boy on. That way we have a little bit of light. I am wearing this hat. Um, where is it? I was wearing that hat. It's in one of these boxes here. So this hat, I'll show you what it does. We'll swap it out. And then I think we click on this. We go ignite. Shabam! Look at that. Look at the light it produces. We could actually do the raid at night. So, so yeah, let's do that. Let's build the, the flamethrower. So we go into our crafting and we go into here. We type in flamethrower. Like so, right here, flamethrower. So it looks like I need 15 high quality metal, 6 metal pipes, and 2 propane tanks. So the pipes we should have, we should have, oh yeah, we have 11, so we only need 6. So this is how you split, there's this thing here that you can click and drag, and then you click the stack, right? I completely forgot how much I need of everything, so you just go back to it. It remembers what you've chosen, which is kind of cool. It tells you it's 120 seconds to craft. And, uh, and you make one per craft. That's cool. That's cool. So I got the pipe. We need the 15 high quality metal and the propane tanks. Propane tanks, I think, are no here. There's a lot of water that I found. Looting is very profitable. There's the propane tanks. You can click and drag. You can right click to move it from the inventory slot. You can do a bunch of different things. Um, press E to, of course, go into the chest and stuff or whatever your action button is. I need this the high quality metal right which I found and so then we go into here and we hit the craft we go shabam now it's gonna craft it puts it into the crafting queue this is how you cancel out crafting queue stuff I really like the fact that all the recipes are open uh, rust used to be about like game levels and stuff or maybe that was on a modded server that I played I don't know I played it back in legacy you know kind of before this random gen map stuff and before kind of the direction where rust has gone today right so i've recently hopped back into rust and yeah the next video you're going to see more of the character come out of me right now i'm just explaining kind of what this game is to me or what i feel you know there's probably a lot of people that have played rust that don't need to hear all this stuff but whatever you know this is what i'm going to do 
this is how I'm going to show off what I do. I'm going to play Rust on my own time and then kind of come back and show you what I've done. And maybe I'll show you snippets of, of harvesting materials. I have no idea. This is all just an experiment to see if I get some traction on my channel. And yeah, that's about it. I don't really care if people watch or not. It doesn't matter to me, but it would be nice. It would be nice, right? It's always nice to make sure that people are, are watching your stuff and, and enjoying it and, and all kinds of crap like that, right? So I'm just going to fill up this this thing back to a thousand. I usually try and keep it at a thousand because it's just what I like to do. And then I usually like to top this up to a thousand as well. And then I usually take all the metal out of it. And all this metal then I can kind of, I move into this chest for now, but I do want to create some new storage containers. And we need to create a bunch of materials for building our new place. Because this place is definitely, we're, we're definitely going to get raided. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't been actually. I've been logging on every day to, to kind of double check that. But we do have 105 low grade. We're going to use that for the raid. Looks like we've got rope here. And look at that. we got our flamethrower. Let's see, let's, see, let's see what she looks like. Oh, shabam. Look at this bad boy. Can I reload it? Shabam. Okay. So it looks like... Okay, so it gives you 50 and then I reloaded it with 50 more. So that's awesome. So now we are fully full on the flamethrower. We got our candle going. We have 35 low grade in there. So that's going to burn for a while. And what do we need to make a gun? Let's just see what we need to make a gun. I think we'll do that after we do the raid. Because if I die with this stuff, I don't really care per se. Some of this stuff is kind of, is all easy. The only thing is the key. Oh man, I might I might demolish this door actually and build a metal door. Metal scrap door, I think is what it's called. So let's take a look at that. Because I'm worried about kind of getting raided, right? So 300 wood and 150 metal fragments. Easy peasy. So here's our wood. And then the metal fragments. Well, if you look in this chest, I haven't really used any. We have a thousand here. So yeah. And usually sometimes it comes up in here. But we don't see it there, um, so we have to... Oh, look at that. There's lights. That's awesome. So we can have civilization. And it looks like there's traps, too. There's a shotgun trap. That's really cool. And we just hit craft like that. Oh, there's other skins. Huh, interesting. So we want the sheep mail door, because I think it has the best durability. And then there's keypad. Um, pad. Key... Uh, what is it called man there's a pad that you can do that you can type in to get into the place um, where do we find that no not under tools resources maybe just under items in general two-sided signpost oh yeah this is how we oh, that's cool bridge large wood box oh repair bench so there are benches okay Dropbox? Oh, I wonder what that is. That's probably how you can trade with people. Uh, what do you need to make? Just metal f fragments. Plate on walls so that players can put items from the exterior of the building for safekeeping. Only access to submitted contents of the Dropbox from the rear. Oh, that's so interesting. So what? So I put it on the wall and on the inside. Oh, this is so cool. So let's craft this just to see what it is. Because we have the materials, so it doesn't matter. There's a locker. Oh, that's kind of neat. I wonder if you can lock those. Let's see what else is there. There's There has to be a keypad. I remember seeing... Or maybe it's under build. It's basically... Ah, uh, this thing right here. Code lock. That's what we want to put on our door here. So once we have that in our inventory, we'll, we'll trash the, the door. I'm going to turn off my headlamp here just to see how... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're still in the middle of the night. Of course we are. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. Kind of... Okay, this thing's kind of... I have a campfire, which has kind of like a water distillery thing. And you basically put your dirty water up in here. And then you turn on the campfire. And then your water ends up coming out into the bucket here. 
which is pretty cool. But usually that's not not necessary because you find oh where is it? It's, it's discontinuous. You usually find these things in um, chests and stuff. So yeah, so cool. So looks like we got some stuff here. So let's put the door down like that. Let's get the code lock ready. And we got this thing. This thing we can put on the wall. I'm hoping on on this side maybe, or may, actually maybe on this side would be better. So you open that up. It's nighttime, of course. I want to see what this looks like and see if it, if it breaks anything. You usually want to move while you're doing stuff. Oh, this is cool. So does it? Okay. So is this the inside or the outside? I'm always worried that you screw this up. I think this is the outside, but let's see what happens if we do that. Mailbox storage. So, just makes you wonder. Oh, okay, what's this? So, it could be on the wrong way. I might have put it on the inside. That's why I want to experiment, right? Because I haven't played this game and... Uh, Press button to submit the contents. You cannot do. Ah, okay. So this thing is is bunk. This item. We need to to get rid of it. So do I have to destroy it, or can I just use this thing? There's a a hammer thing that you can employ. So basically, you place this from the inside. Okay. Uh, can I can I do this? Can I right click on this. No. No. Okay. So you're gonna have to actually destroy it. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. So we have to do this. Uh, how long is it going to take, you think? Oh, uh, man. Can I... Can't press and hold. Oh, there's a hell. Is that... I think that's... It's not... I don't think it's a helicopter, is it? Oh, that's another... Oh, that's another uh, airdrop. So these planes that fly over, they sometimes provide airdrops. That you can go after and they're fairly obvious and if this thing drops near us we are definitely going to go after it so i need to see why this so if we go like this oh it's 99 but it's not updating why is it not updating oh i don't want to hit that 98 wow it's going to take forever to knock this stuff off Yeah, uh, 98. Wow, look at that. Okay, well that was a failed experiment. Oh wait, submit. The submit contents. You cannot undo this. Oh, maybe it will work properly. I don't know. If I press and hold. Oh, press and hold to get into it. You press an E. Oh. Oh, no. why is it doing that now? Or maybe it knows that I'm the owner. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Weird. It was giving me that submit one, but now it looks like it's whatever. It's doing it properly. So let us go on to rating. Uh, is, was there an airdrop? I love how they added in the chemtrail clouds in there. All these kind of, you know, like these strips and stuff like that. Those are <laughs> your traditional chemtrails. That's pretty funny. Okay, well, since it's daytime, let's turn off this thing. And let's put on our raid gear. Oh, I, I have a, a door. Oh no, I don't want to raid. We do, but I should. I should really put on stuff. So that's cool. So that drop box thing is useful. I'll have to put that on our on our house. So, is there any easy way of demolishing this door? And I think the door's on backwards too, but that is fine because I I didn't know that it places it. You're facing the inside, so when I place this door, I have to be, I think, facing the outside. So, so we need, we might need this to break the door. I hope not. I hope I can use that. What is it? Um, I want to use that hammer, and I keep forgetting where I put stuff. I have a very bad memory. Oh no, I have the hammer's on me. Okay. I want to see if I can destroy that door. Knock. Yeah, no, it looks like we have to actually take down the door. 
it's almost better to build a new base than it is to actually demolish the stuff. So let's see. Let's see how long it takes to demolish the stuff. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. So I don't know if I want to bother and just build a whole new base. Maybe that's what we'll use the sheet metal door for and whatnot. We'll just raid this guy and then we'll build a new base. And that's that's going to be that. So let's put a bunch of this stuff away. I think that's what we're going to do. I want to put this over here. I put this thing on backwards. It kind of pisses me off. But hey, now we know. Now I know the mechanics. So now because I know the mechanics, I'll be able to, to put the stuff where they really belong. Now these these metal things that I'm doing, these things, apparently you can use these in a research bench and then it'll create kind of whatever items you want out of that. So I'm not sure how exactly that works. So s someone might comment. No, I need that oil, I need that oil. Someone might comment, uh, someone might not, I don't know. That's that's the fun part about YouTube here. And, and I tell you what, when I'm ready to raid the base, I will be right back. Okay, perfect. So hopefully the guy's not on and we can raid him. So yeah, we're going to uh, test it out here and we're going to see what happens. Oh boy, oh boy people. Tension. You know, it's kind of crazy. There's kind of highs and lows in the game. Let's see if there's anybody here. I don't think there is. I don't hear anybody. Kind of you move around a bit. Now let's see what happens here. So it looks like he has a keypad, right? And looks like no password. So let's uh, set the fire. Maybe ah, I see, I see. It's pretty creative. So what he's done? See how the fire drips down and it drips into the water. So essentially, he might be invulnerable. That's smart. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, it's still doing it, it's still doing it. I got hit, gotta reload. See how this works? It's always left click. I like to do the, the right click because I remember it from seven days. But that's how we get hurt. Okay, let's do that. Uh, see how it bounces off? That's so interesting. Oh, I'm killing myself. Let's see, let's use a bandage. Might do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, let's keep moving. Replace that with another shot. Let's do one more shot. We're still healing, so maybe what we'll do is we will maybe we'll switch to the axe. Let's see what happens with the axe here. See what happens. No, that's no good. And it looks like we're gonna have to use explosives. Let's see. Let's see if we can make it in. Yeah, it's gonna take forever. Forever. So that item broke. Okay, looks like no one's coming around still. So we might have to build some C4. We might have to do. So yeah, it's going to take forever, so I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> We're going to have to finish the job, so I tell you what, I will be back as soon as I have some materials. I think we're sitting at around 13 to 15 minutes of the video, if I can recall. It might be more 18 minutes, but that's good, that's good. I want to try and keep these videos around half an hour. It's kind of like the plan that I have. And so yeah, so I'll be right back. So yeah, to explain the situation, I am stuck inside my place. I placed this tool thing, so that way it secures 50 meter radius around your place. And my problem is, is because this is a key lock, you can't get into your base. It's very, 
you, you need the key and it's like you can't produce another key like there's no options once you place the lock on there and i think the lock's on backwards anyways so i don't know it's <laughs> it's backwards day it's noob day for me so i'm basically trying to hack my way out of this and i'm trying to smelt the these things again but i don't think they smell i think they just get broken and then you put them in the salvager or something like that to replace them so what i've been doing is using up my resources producing these axes to get out that's basically my problem i i died by a by a hyena that spawned by my place all of a sudden it's almost like it's karma it's like it it knew uh, I was raiding a base and then I died. Of course, I didn't record that because it just happened so quickly. It basically, as soon as I stopped hitting record, the the, fr the freaking thing appeared in front of my house, and so now my my corpse is outside. And I hope it doesn't disappear by the time I get to it, because that means that I will have to re reharvest everything after I break out of this. I'll have to place the door down with the key lock. So I will definitely do that, and I will. Now, knowing what I know, I basically have to stay on the inside and place the door. At least I hope so. If not, well, then I'm just a complete noob. But I think I was standing on the outside because I'm used to playing Seven Days to Die. And there, you know, the way you face it is it's facing the outside. So you're facing the outside uh, and the inside is away from you, basically. So, yeah, so that's kind of the situation. So I will let you know once I've broken through this. you every single day from the moment we first met to this moment today you really amazed whatever i felt i could never explain i felt so fashion with different names it stuck in my brain the feelings remain i remember waking up next to you like every day and thinking that what we had was actually here to stay but now i realize that i was only really played you wanted your ecstasy and us was just a fake display it's breaking me down reminded of you my all that's around these songs and roads i'm losing my ground i wish i could get up and out of this town now do i sound crazy at heart because i'd rather go back to the start although i know it's not so smart i'm so sick of watching us falling apart we battled and cried i kept it inside all that you said was probably a lie i think it's time we break these ties and move along with our own lives it's hard to make someone feel love ollie just open your eyes and i don't want to be just friends i guess this means goodbye Till one night I got your text and all it said is that you miss me Honestly, I cried, those feelings cut me deep inside I tried to give the world to you, but the world to you was other guys All that you loved was getting impaired and finding some dude to mess up your hair So how could you care? You never were there, you never did care So fuck all your lies, that's right, fuck all your lies You just a waste of my time in disguise I'm seeing the truth as I look on your eyes You drag me along and there's nothing inside But still I'm here, these memories bringing me near I picture us together but it's only bringing me tears I thought that you loved me You kiss and you hug me Your perfect appearance They said that you ugly I knew you were fake But never this slutty You leaving me bloody Like damn Fuck all this love I'm swearing it doesn't exist That line was just a lie I felt it when I kissed your lips I guess that's why I'm pissed These are the moments I miss But now we're over and done Lost and simply unable to fix
Hello, hello! You're welcome! So, for you it's instant, for me it's about 15 minutes, so yeah! I kind of recorded all of it so you can see, and our door should break. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh no! Oh no! Is it falling? Oh, it's falling apart. It just takes time. And... Where's my corpse? Oh boy. Died. I die. Come on. Getting some rubber banding. Where? Where's my stuff? So the corpse don't last long. I have to change that. So that means flamethrower, the gear. Oh boy. Yeah, because I died right here, uh, <laughs> right in front, right here. This is where I died. So it's just a matter of hacking. Wow, so corpses don't last long at all with vanilla. So I might have to look into changing that. So I'm going to change that for sure. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to call this episode Noob Mistakes <laughs> because it's just what it seems like. And so let's put in a new door. So now we know that we face. Oh, uh, is this the outside or the inside? Oh, man. Or is this the outside? And then, is it showing me which way it opens? I want it to open on the inside, basically. Is that my th the thing? Ah, whatever. Okay. And then we got this bad boy. So this is the inside, right? I hope so. Okay, now how do we... Okay. So what about... Uh... Ah, here we go. Move lock, knock, change lock code. So, yeah, I'm, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm in here. So as soon as you type in a code, it... And now lets you open and close your door, no problemo. Okay, so yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake. So now we have a bunch of this crap on us. So I'm gonna grab a light. So we basically lost our everything, wow. So, well, okay, that's all right, that's all right. So basically if a player kills you, then legit, you know, they'll be able to take your stuff. And if you die by creatures in the wilderness, a player most likely binding your corpse will be uh, next to nil unless the of course the population explodes and all of a sudden there's a bunch of people playing on the server and then i'm getting raided all the time and then yeah then it'll be the end of the three months and then i'll be like yay i'm done <laughs> so i'm just gonna run to that other place with no weapons whatsoever because the thing powers itself i think i'm gonna grab a light though because we're gonna go at night so i'm gonna grab this bad boy we'll just kind of wear it will be naked completely but that's okay and hopefully there's no animals, because I don't have anything on me other than the light. I better not die by anything. So this time I'll try and record it. If I'm going to die by something, I will quickly flip to it. But yeah, we're going to need to pick up some stuff along the way. So sometimes there's chests that spawn in those little groups. They spawn around all over the place, which is kind of interesting. And so I'm going to go back to the harbor and there is a recycler there. So I'll be right back once I'm there. So yeah, so here we are back at the recycler or back at the harbor and in here is the recycler. So if we open this, we can basically throw stuff into here. And what's going to happen is it's going to turn this material back into its raw constituents, right? See, so there's stone. It's not much. But it's better than... than oh, actually, it's pretty crappy. I don't know if I'm going to do this next time. Because it's kind of... It's like it's giving you one per broken item. So maybe that's what the, a broken item is worth once you use it up. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. We're back. And yeah, it's a little bit of materials. Not worth it, honestly. So we'll have to look at that. At getting that... What is it called? I still have a pickaxe and a stone. Stone, not stone. Uh, I have a hatchet and a pickaxe back at the base. I built those before I was pounding my way out of my own base. 
at least now there's a, a metal door, so now the, the structure is a lot more difficult to break in. You're going to need explosives to get in, and you need a lot of them, I think. So the wood's usually easy to, to break through, but but like the metals and the stone and stuff, I think the higher you go, the harder it is. So it's kind of interesting. So you saw how long it took. <laughs> I sped up the footage, of course, because, yeah, it's just the way it goes. So I'm just going to... On my way back, I'm going to go collect some of this stuff, and then I'll meet you back at the base. So here we are. We are back at the base. The home sweet home. Looks like we'll pick up some of these resources here. There's stone you can pick up. There's that cloth stuff you can pick up. There's some metal ore. I think there's also uh, sulfur that you can find on the ground, so that is cool. So yeah, so it's nice. So now we know that we have a nice base enhancement here. Put that thing on the wrong way of this thing. So I like to have the lights on the outside, but that is okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything we have to establish here. No, I can't do anything. You can just submit. Press this button to submit. So if I did this, and then if I so if I press and hold on it. See, I don't know, I got into it before, so maybe we have to be on the outside. Let's kind of check it this way. Let's see here, it's going to get nighttime soon. I hope that guy doesn't mind about the raid. I was, I was trying. Yeah, I don't know, I can't, I can't get into it. Weird. What did I submit in there? I can't remember. Yeah, open up. Give me your loot. Come on! I don't know. I don't know how I how how I did it. I just pressed E and held it. Oh well. Anyways, folks, I just rubber banded. And thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Rust. This is kind of what I'm going to be doing probably on a weekly basis, once a week. I'll just show you what I've done and kind of go from there. So yeah. So thank you everybody for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.